What's up everyone, Justin here, back with a new What W, I almost cursed, and I will curse, believe me. These shows, I get fired up, I get passionate, and I get angry about the these topics I'm talking about in these uh, series of shows. WTF, a new WTF show, yes I will curse. That's why I make my videos not for kids. This is a new what the fuck show about WWE's ECW brand. The relaunch. I actually got a shirt when they relaunched. Behind it is a razor blade. Uh, anyways. And uh, at first... WWE's ECW, I had some hope. I actually thought this might be good. This could work. I'm excited. I was very excited before the debut on Sci Fi. I, I was really excited because I was an original. Huge original. Just absolutely obsessed. And I was a huge fan of the original ECW, not WWE's ECW, not at all. Now, I will bring up a couple of things they did good, and a couple of things they did right, and I had no problem with a couple of things they did, a couple of people, wrestlers they pushed, but... 85% of it, 80% of it should have never happened. ECW, the name, the three letters, ECW should have never fucking came back. It was a big, big, big fucking mistake. Big fucking mistake. And I understand why it came back. And why Vince and WWE thought we can profit off ECW, off the original ECW fans, we can uh, take their money. Because they'll watch anything ECW. If we say ECW's back, if we involve Paul Heyman, RVD, Tommy Dreamer, The Sandman, Sabu, Just Incredible, they had a lot of ECW originals, they had a lot of them under contract. The problem was... The third brand, ECW under WWE, a, th a third brand could have succeeded. Look at NXT. In my opinion, NXT is fucking great. The takeovers are great, and I really enjoy NXT every Wednesday. In my opinion, NXT really does no wrong. For me, they never disappoint me as an NXT fan. And uh, I don't know who's booking NXT. Triple H, I'm sure. Shawn Michaels, Road Dog, They're doing a damn good job in my opinion. But the WWE ECW, like what the fuck? Who was supposed to book? Who was going to be on the creative team? Who was the head writer? Who the fuck was going to accept like the rundown, like the booking of the show? Like, here's the booking sheet for, but I'm just using this as an example. Let's say uh, Heyman or Tommy Dreamer, Dusty Rhodes. I don't know who's on creative. I believe Dusty was there a little bit as a head writer. Let's say they turn in all the matches, all the segments they want on the show. They give it to Vince. Well, Vince can just put an X through it, tear it up, and throw it in the trash, crumble it up, throw it in the trash, say, I don't like that, pal. I'm going to make uh, this show my way and do what I want to see and put over the talent I want. The first episode. Look. WWE's ECW, as I said, should have never fucking motherfucking came back. It never should have. 
It was a slap in the face to all the original ECW fans. It was a kick in their nuts. It was like pissing on them. It was a bad idea. <coughs> it was like kicking them in the balls, slapping me in the face, kicking me in the nuts, pushing me down, uh, taking a shit and a piss on the letters ECW. That's what WWE's ECW was from 2006 when they uh, started on Sci-Fi. From 06, whatever day it was, I think it was summer. I think it was July, I'm not sure. Or it was right after One Night Stand uh, 2, so I think it was June. June 2006. But it was just horrendous. The booking was bad. The booking was shit. They only did a couple things right, pushing a couple new guys... That debuted on the third brand, WWE ECW. First off, the look of the show was bad. The setup was bad and just stupid. The entrance was dumb and weird. You had the wrestlers come out through the crowd. That was weird. And that didn't look good in my opinion. And uh, the announcers, Joey Styles and Taz, they had the, their announce table set up like right where the camera was facing the ring. The hard camera facing the ring. You could see the announcers. That was uh, fucking annoying. And that was just a bad setup. It looked like shit. I don't want to see the announcers when I was trying to watch a match. It was distracting. I almost dropped this. Uh, that would have been bad, but I caught it. I got quick hands. Anyways, I got some notes on a lot of stuff that just about WWE's ECW, a lot of fucking stuff, 80% of it, 85%, 75% made me just say what the fuck. So here we go. The debut, well, first off, before I get to the debut on Sci-Fi, uh, it only came back. WWE Vince decided to only bring ECW back, and he got a fucking TV deal on cable. He got a TV deal on Sci-Fi. They actually fucking paid him, I believe, a lot of money to put on... A new wrestling show called ECW, a third brand. So uh, Vince, again, outsmarted the networks because they fell for it and fucking paid them. So anyways, ECW would have never been relaunched. And my God, it was a failure, except for like 20% of... The show and the talent that was new that they pushed. Maybe less than uh, less than 20% maybe. But it only came back. And Vince only got the fucking idea to bring it back. And somehow he let Tommy Dreamer book the entire... And write the entire first one night stand. I can't believe Vince let Tommy book it. But he did. And it was a fucking success. It was a great fucking show. The first one night stand. In 2005. ECW one night stand. It was only supposed to be a one night stand. Well it was so damn uh, successful. It was a great show. It was a original in my opinion. Felt like an original fucking ECW. Old school show. Well uh. ECW, in my opinion, after the first one night stand, look at the crowd, it was sold out. There was a fucking fan base for ECW to be back with a mix of ECW originals and new stars that WWE had under contract. But the point is, and the problem is, 
What the fuck, Vince? We did not want WWE superstars on ECW. We didn't even want them a part of the brand. I didn't. Except for, I will say, I did want, and I was excited for CM Punk to be on ECW. He fit in. The rest did not. Big Show, what the fuck? He did not fucking fit in at fucking all. No fucking way. What the fuck? So, ECW came back because of the DVD. The rise and fall of ECW, I believe, sold, I heard, it sold like 150,000 copies. That's a lot of fucking DVDs. That, that's really good. And it sold that much in like the first week. The first couple of days it was put out. I know I got it on the first day. I, I had to kind of search. I would think I went to two different stores. But I think the first store, Best uh, Buy, had it. So I got it right away. And my guy, it's a great documentary. But uh, so then in May, May 25th, 2006, WWE, after or before One Night Stand 2, even though it wasn't called One Night Stand 2, WWE decided to announce the launch of ECW as its own brand. And uh, again, I was fucking excited at first until I saw the show and what a mess it became and what a mess it was. It was just WWE. It was not good. RVD was the ECW champion and the WWE champion on the same show. On ECW's debut, he was a double world champion. It was awesome. It was great. RVD was in his prime still. I was really happy he defeated Cena. The only good thing about One Night... Uh, stand 2 was Cena RVD because the crowd was fucking lit on fucking fire. Great original ECW crowd right there. They did not like Cena. So, uh, yeah, if you have the network, go back, watch the start of Cena RVD. He tries to give his shirt away. The crowd doesn't want it. One guy wiped his ass with the shirt and threw it back in the ring and, and, and flipped off Cena. It was great. It was just entertaining as hell. I actually felt bad for Cena, but I loved it. The, there was nothing. This is another what the fuck thing. You can't bring ECW back. You couldn't bring it back, Vince, without... The original, hardcore, passionate ECW fans. It didn't work. The fans are just watched uh, SmackDown. It was uh, taped right after SmackDown. And it was live after SmackDown. And the crowd didn't care. They are burned out. They never ever felt like a real ECW crowd. Because they were fucking not. They were a WWE crowd. A lot of the fans were dead. Quiet. Didn't give a fuck. I'm, sh I'm sure a lot of them left. And didn't even watch ECW in the arena. But the debut. The debut on Sci-Fi got a 2.79. 2 Seven nine. That's a pretty damn good rating for a one-hour wrestling show. It was the highest-rated show on cable for the time slot. The debut on Sci-Fi. Another what the fuck thing about the debut. You have the fucking zombie come out. I don't know who came up with this segment or wrote it. I did hear they wanted originally an alien, a guy dressed up in an alien costume to come out. But Sci-Fi said no to that. They didn't want an alien to get caned or beat up by the Sandman. They did not want an alien, a fucking, <laughs> a fucking alien, a fictional sci-fi character 
aliens are probably real. UFOs, I'm sure they're real. But this was this was just funny. This was good funny shit. If an alien would have came out and got caned, I would have popped. I would have marked out. But no, Sci-Fi said no. You're not gonna beat up an alien because that offends them. That was so fucking stupid. That's what the Sandman said. It was originally going to be an alien, but they said no. And I'm sure others know about that it was supposed to be an alien, not a fucking wrestler from the indies dressed as a zombie. That was just the shit. That was god-awful. What the fuck? The zombie. What the fuck? Holy shit, that was bad. I mean, I, I did pop when uh, Sandman came down. I did pop, and I thought it was great. But it was so fucking bad and just cheesy as a uh, fuck. So then, let's go to August. August uh, 1st, 2006. ECW. In front of original hardcore ECW fans in New York City, Hammerstein Ballroom, August 1st, 2006. That was a real ECW fan base. Those were ECW fans because Vince took the show for one week out of the uh, SmackDown, right after SmackDown. He took it to the Hammerstein Ballroom. That could have fucking worked. That's why suppo that's what I thought was supposed to happen and going to happen. ECW actually came to uh, my state and toured, I believe in July or August 2006. I did not get to go. It was like I don't know how far away. It was in another county, like over an hour drive. So I didn't get to go to the house show. That ECW had. They had another uh, live house show before August. They had another house show at the ECW arena. I'm sure that sold out and was uh, successful. But you go to Hammerstein Ballroom. The crowd was lit again on fire and fucking hype. Maybe a lot of them are drunk. Who cares? It was an original ECW crowd. They were excited. CM Punk debuted. That was fucking a great idea. He got a huge pop. He was like looked at as a internet darling, indie darling, and he was fans are excited to see him. A part of ECW. CM Punk would have fit in in the original ECW in my opinion. So that worked. But what the fuck? Vince decides my main event. For the Hammerstein Ballroom on Sci-Fi, my main event is going to be two WWE guys that didn't fucking care to be there and even wrestle in front of that crowd. They didn't even want to fucking be there. You could tell. I think Batista had fun with it, but Big Show looked miserable. And Big Show looked like he didn't give a fuck. He was really overweight. Also as ECW champion. I'll get to that. Big Show winning the ECW fucking title. That really pissed me off. That pissed me off. I understand. I'll talk about it now. I understand RVD had to drop the title. Just because he was pulled over and they found some weed in the car. Smelled it and took Sabu and RVD's weed. Big fucking deal. This was 2006, so I guess right after the wellness policy. or I don't even know if the wellness policy started, but Vince was so pissed that his world champion was busted for weed. Big fucking deal. Weed is nothing in 2021. Weed should have been nothing in 2000. I'm sure a lot of wrestlers smoked and still do. And I'm all for it. I'm all for pot being legal in every fucking state because what the fuck? It should have been already. You, you, you let 
people buy alcohol get in blackouts and kill people with their cars, but you're not going to let someone stay home and smoke and relax. Maybe it helps them with anxiety and or depression. It probably helps them. I don't know. I don't smoke. I don't have the urge to smoke. I'm straight edge. But my point is, RVD being busted for having pot, big fucking deal. He should have got slapped on the wrist and made had to pay like a five thousand dollar fine to Vince. He shouldn't. Have, he should have not had to drop the ECW World Title. That just killed the ECW brand for me. That killed it. Vince put a bullet to the ECW brand's head, put a bullet to all the fans, and just shot and blew their brains out. When the Big Show, nothing against the Big Show. The guy's a legend. I respect him. But in 2006, when he became ECW champion, it was not the original ECW world title either. Yeah, the belt looked the same, but it was not. It was WWE's ECW world title. It was not the original. The original, final, last ECW champion is Rhino. That's my opinion. Big Show is really fucking out of shape. When he won the world title from RVD, he was out of shape. He looked unhealthy. He looked like he didn't give a fuck. and looked like he didn't want to be on ECW. When he was in Philly... What the fuck? The sci-fi, the first debut of ECW was in Philly. The home of ECW, where they were born. You shit on all the fans of the original ECW. You shit on Philly, and it was just absolutely disgusting and pathetic. That big show defeated RVD. Paul Heyman, I believe, screwed RVD and joined the big show. That was dumb. The show kicked off, I believe, with RVD and Paul Heyman giving him the ECW world title. That was great. And then at the main event, he loses it. And Philly was pissed. They lost it. A whole bunch of bottles were thrown in the ring in trash because it was trash. It was shit. It was what the fuck. Why give the Big Show the ECW world title? That really killed ECW, in my opinion, to have the Big Show as your world champion of ECW. What the fuck? That's just a slap in the face to all the fans. And let's get back to August in the Hammerstein Ballroom Show and taping them. Your main event. What the fuck? Your main event was Batista against the Big Show. Batista, World Heavyweight Champion on SmackDown. Big Show, ECW Champion. Nobody cared. It was just shit. What the fuck was that main event? And I liked Batista at the time, but... It was not an ECW main event for the Hammerstein Ballroom. It should have never fucking happened. Holy fuck, Vince. What the hell were you smoking? And Vince probably thought, ripped up the script again and said, Hey, pal, I'm going to give them Big Show and Batista and they're going to like it. No, they did not like it. They hated it. Watch the show back on the network. And I refuse to watch WWE's ECW on the network. I still have yet to do it. Because I'll just get angry. So, uh, yeah. Good God. Batista versus Big Show. ECW main event in the Hammerstein Ballroom. What the fuck? Just think about that for a fucking minute. That was shit. So then, Big Show is world champion. He feuded and took on and defended the title against Sabu at SummerSlam 2006. That was just, what the fuck? That was stupid. Because Sabu should have won. He did not. That was stupid. 
and the match was bad and not an ECW type match. I will say about uh, Big Show Sabu at SummerSlam, Ric Flair, Mick Foley, I quit. That was more ECW than Big Show Sabu at SummerSlam 2006. When Flair and Foley were old by then and probably should have been retired. That match was way more ECW than Sabu Big Show. That should have been for the ECW world title. And you should have gave it to Mick Foley. Mick Foley, Mick Foley would have been a better champion in 2006 than the fucking out of shape Big Show that didn't give a fuck. So then, let's go to some of the new, some of the new stars. You didn't push the ECW originals. Instead, you brought Big Show to ECW. You brought Kurt Angle to ECW. What the fuck? You brought Bob Holly, Hardcore Holly, to ECW. What the fuck? You didn't push any original ECW guys. And by the way, they weren't called wrestlers. Instead, they're called extremists. The wrestlers in ECW, WWE's ECW, were called extremists. Not wrestlers, not superstars, extremists. What the fuck? They weren't a part of the Proud Boys. They weren't a part of a right-wing extreme group or left-wing extreme group. Why the fuck call them extremists? That was so fucking bad. What the fuck? And you called the women, the few women you had, barely any women, but... You had Trinity from uh, TNA. She was there a couple months, I believe. She was there, I want to say, summer until WrestleMania 23 was uh, Trinity. I think she kept the name Trinity in WWE's ECW. I always thought she was uh, smoking hot. And she was a, she should have wrestled men. She could have wrestled on ECW, but no. He just had her be a valet selling TNA. That's all she did. She was like in bikini contests, swimsuit contests. That's all she did. And holy fuck, in WWE's ECW, what the fuck, Vince? You wasted Trinity. You wasted her. She was a great talent. She could do a hell of a backflip. She's a great worker. You should have used her in the ring. Other women, you had Ariel. I got no problem with her. She was a good manager. You got Kelly Kelly made her debut in WWE's ECW, and her gimmick was, I'm an exhibitionist. Okay, well, why wasn't she banging guys on uh, the show then? Why call her that? That was stupid. And she had a stripper gimmick. She wanted to strip on the show. On Sci-Fi, she wanted to strip. One of her promos, it's hilarious to think about and what the fuck are you thinking, but one of her promos was something like, tonight I'm going to take off all my clothes because I'm an exhibitionist. What the fuck? That made no sense. Yeah, I get it. A woman, a hot woman like Kelly Kelly. And yes, she was hot, in my opinion. I will admit, she was smoking. Smoking hot. She was a 10 out of a 10. And I guess <laughs> saying a woman's going to strip and take off all her clothes, Kelly Kelly. That would get a lot of ratings and a lot of guides that tune in, I guess. So maybe it worked for a month. But then she stopped stripping. And she's paired with Mike, Mike fucking Knox. The guy looked like a jobber, mid-carter, in my opinion. And he was. He didn't last long in WWE's ECW. I get it, he was a new talent. Okay, but I didn't care about the guy and why put Kelly Kelly with him. 
the best thing that happened to Kelly Kelly on WWE's ECW, the best thing she did, she couldn't wrestle yet. She's way too green. She wasn't ready. Best thing they did with her was she got caned by the Sandman. So, uh, Mike Knox with Kelly Kelly. What the fuck? So then you have... And not just uh, Big Show, Kurt Angle, Bob Holly. You had special appearances on WWE's ECW. You had to have special appearances by the Hardys at one point. Eminem. Kane and The Undertaker. How the fuck are they... ECW, they're, they're not, excuse me for belching, but what the fuck, the Brothers of Destruction are coming to ECW, why, what the fuck, that was stupid and did not fit, Batista came to ECW, and DX, DX, Shawn Michaels, Triple H came to ECW, why? Why would they want to come there? That that was pointless. That made no sense to me. So that was some what the fuck shit. Making, bringing in WWE stars on sci-fi. Ric Flair. Ric Flair came to ECW and got a world title shot against the big show. What the fuck? More what the fuck moments. You had just told. Good lord. One thing that was good the ECW opening video, uh, Drowning Pool, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. That was a cool opening. I had no problem with that. That was not what the fuck. That was not a what the fuck moment. It was just, oh my God, it hurt me to watch. It really hurt me to watch. I watched because I was a, I'm a hardcore wrestling fan. But it hurt me to watch from 07 until and 08. It fucking hurt. Now let me get some of the uh, pay-per-views ECW is involved in. Or the ECW world title is actually defended on WWE pay-per-views. You had SummerSlam. Sabu got a world title shot against the Big Show. Again, it was shit. And it, was, it was just what the fuck. Unforgiven. You had the ECW champion, the Big Show, teaming with the McMahons against DX. And you have your ECW champion... Getting his pants fucking pulled down in hell in a cell. Getting Vince's head shoved up your his ass. That was just absolutely disgusting and vile. I didn't need to fucking see that. No Mercy 2006. I don't see Big Show involved. So no ECW World Title match. Cyber Sunday. Oh, this was stupid. Cyber Sunday, you had the three world champions of all three brands have a triple threat. Big Show, the ECW champion, took on John Cena and Booker T, King Booker. I will say Big Show, according to the history books, is the only first ever, not the only Maybe the only, I don't know, I don't care. It wasn't the real ECW title. Big Show, first guy to become WCW World Champ, WWE World Champ, ECW World Champ. Survivor Series, you had ECW team of uh, Mike Knox and CM Punk in a Survivor Series elimination. I don't know what the hell the big sh the big show was a part of a Survivor Series elimination. The big show teamed with Finley, MVP Test, and Umaga for some reason. 
Oh boy. December to dismember. Well, Vince, before this pay per view, you already dis dismembered and fucked ECW really badly by the pay per view. You already fucked them big time. Right up the fucking ass. Let me talk about December to dismember. What the fuck was that pay per view? One of the worst and just got awful, just messes. The show was a fucking mess. It was run like a mess. It was run like just nobody knew what the fuck they were doing. It was, it was not booked like an ECW pay-per-view. It was not. It was a bad, 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 badly booked, badly done WWE B minus, C minus show. It wasn't a B minus. It was a F. Holy fuck. What the fuck was December to dismember? Let me talk about it. Is I'm losing my voice. Holy fuck. First off, during the pay per view, they showed Sabu get carried out, taken out of the elimination chamber. That was bullshit. What the fuck? Bobby Lashley. Uh, that's the main event. I won't talk about that. Up first, we had the Hardy Boys, not part of the ECW roster. The Hardys took on Eminem. It was a good tag match, but why the fuck were these uh, four guys put on an ECW show? And Melina kept screaming through the whole damn match. That was annoying. I believe she did her splits entrance. At least that was good to see. Or at least uh, they have something nice about the pay-per-view. Or the only nice thing I gotta say about December to Dismember. The nicest thing that happened was Melina Splits. So the Hardys defeated Eminem. Then we have Davari. Davari defeat Tommy Dreamer for some reason. And I don't got a problem with that. Because Davari was a young, fresh talent. But then Great Kali comes out. Great Kali was managed by Davari. Great Kali then beats the crap out of Tommy Dreamer. Almost kills him. Looked like he just dropped him on the stairs. Looked really unsafe. Kali was not a safe worker at all. The guy barely could move and couldn't wrestle for shit. Elegante had better matches than Greg Kali and Elegante was no good. Rest in peace, Elegante, by the way. And, uh, John Gonzalez was better than Greg Kali and he couldn't wrestle either. 